Kentucky voters went to the polls today for the first day of in early in-person voting. WLKY's Alexis Matthews joins us live from Paris Town Hall, one of the designated voting locations here in Louisville. Alexis, you spoke with voters and candidates today? That's right, Vicki and Rick. Well, no excuse in-person voting has ended for the day for this year's midterm elections. But when I was here at Paris Town Hall earlier, I spoke with voters, candidates, poll workers, and Secretary of State Michael Adams, who says early voting is all about giving people options. No problems at all. Yeah, none at all. We're great. Yeah, very smooth. Thursday saw no lines and a smooth process for those in Jefferson County eager to cast their ballot during the three-day early voting period. And I was determined that I was going to live to vote for this election because I think this is the most important election in my lifetime, and I'm 76 years old. It was very encouraging. A lot of people had brought their children with them this morning so they could see the process, and I thought that was great. Secretary of State Michael Adams also took advantage of voting ahead of the general election on Tuesday. He says giving Kentuckians early access to the polls, a law passed ahead of the May primary, is the proudest achievement of his administration. Just having one day to go vote makes it harder on everybody. Uh, so this is about making it easier for the voter and for our election officials. In Jefferson County, there are seven designated early voting locations open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Several local candidates on the ballot showed up bright and early on the first no-excuse day, including Bill Deeruff, the Republican Louisville mayoral candidate who voted at the Jeffersonian. And I wanted to start today, the first day of the extended voting, to say, we have to make a difference here and we have to do it today. And Democrat Charles Booker, who was in the running to unseat Rand Paul in the U.S. Senate, cast his vote at the Center for African American Heritage. Do you vote for for U.S. Senate? Uh, you know, well, uh, I, got, I was bubbling in my name there. Make sure I didn't put a hole through the papers. With state and local races and big items like the fate of abortion in Kentucky with Amendment 2, Kentuckians are encouraged to go out and make their voices count. Whatever candidate you support, whatever party you support, whatever principles you have, you've got to get out and vote. Vote! Get out and vote! <laughs> The Board of Elections says nearly 3,000 people cast their ballot here in Jefferson County in just the first three hours of early voting. Now the period runs until Saturday and you can find the full list of early voting locations in our area on WLKY.com. Live for you tonight, Alexis Matthews, WLKY News. Thanks, Alexis.